Welcome back everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and I am continuing with my Resident Evil 2 Leon A scenario walkthrough. As you can see, I changed out some of my equipment and I got some brand new weapons. Well, not new weapons, but uh, some bigger firepower and also some healing equipment because we are about to take on a mini boss. And it's not a new one, not yet, we've faced him before, uh, but we have to face him again of course. So what we're going to do is head out here towards this secondary tram and we're going to activate it so that we can get down. Ada, what are you doing? Get around that. Thank you. So we can get down to the Umbrella Laboratories which are underneath this police station for whatever reason. I guess it's the, uh, the perfect cover. Who would suspect a police station? We're going to grab these Magnum bullets because it's always good to have a nice supply of those. And then we're also going to grab this key in here. So yes, we are going to take the control panel key. It's a key to activate the control panel. The letter D is engraved on it. Okay. So of course, it can't just be in the system. So now we have to go all the way outside. We have to activate the little control switch out here. And then we will be on our way. So let's hop down, go over to the little control panel here. There is a keyhole, shockingly, and let's use our key. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if the flare wasn't enough to uh, bring all those zombies around, now we have this uh, air horn going off. Luckily it's not doing it anymore. Down we go. Should be a smooth ride. Oh my god. Ada. Ada. Can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it. Uh okay, there's something out there. Uh security panel. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and access from the outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Except now we're going out for some reason, which means it's probably gonna lock behind us, preventing us from getting back in, which means we're stuck out here. Awesome. Well, what's out here? <laughs> well, he just threw a pipe at us. Kinda like, hey buddy, I'm up here. Don't ignore me with my multiple heads and big claws. So that is William Birkin and we're gonna run. We have our Magnum. I'm gonna shoot him and I'm gonna run away to avoid his uh, little claws there. So uh, basically turn, fire, and run. Get over here, this is a pretty nice vantage point, you just keep shooting them. Now, that is not his death animation, keep firing. That is his death animation. And uh, yeah, he's bleeding out, which uh, of course in this game means he must be dead, right? He certainly will not come back from that, right? So let's head back inside. Now that uh, he's dead for some reason, the uh, tram knows it and will let us back inside. So we can tend to Ada. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Oh, 
Uh oh. Where did he go? Well, luckily he didn't hang around to uh, attack me while I was carrying Ada. But we're gonna head in here and we're gonna activate a cutscene. Welcome back. Oh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Aww. They have feelings for each other. And for some reason, it unequips your weapon. I guess because he can't carry it while also carrying Ada. But uh, be aware of that. Don't assume it's still equipped. We're gonna grab some shotgun shells. There's a green herb over here. And then there's also some magnum rounds, I believe. All right. And then we're gonna do some item management. So I'll meet you guys back here in a little bit. After I pick up the ink ribbons, which I can't. Awesome. All right, so. I uh, dropped a lot of that stuff in my item box there because we have quite a few more items to pick up in the underground laboratories here. And uh, we're not going to need the Magnum for a while, so I stashed that away, including the uh, ammo for it as well. But uh, the main kind of puzzle in this area is activating the center kind of research breaker system that uh, powers the lab. So we need a fuse in order to do that. And that will restore power to the various areas of this research area. Now, we want to start by going to the left. Of course, it is a Resident Evil game, so most of the doors are locked. But we will gain access to these rooms eventually. In the meantime, let's head over to this very cold looking room. It's cold. It must have something in need of freezing or refrigeration. Not that you would be able to tell from what's in here. Because all we have in here is a first aid spray. And uh, for some reason a fuse that we need to power the electrical system. So I don't know a ton about fuses. Um, I don't know a ton about superconductor fuses especially. But apparently, according to this game anyway, you have to store them in very low temperatures. Not sure why that is. Maybe some of you know. But we need to insert it here and let this little robot arm grab the other part and put it inside of it. Now this arm always reminded me of the Jurassic Park arm. We're gonna let it do its thing. And now we're gonna get our main fuse. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna head back to that little intersection that we saw, and that will let us restore power to the labs. Wonderful. And actually what's great about this is we still have not encountered any enemies. That will change very quickly though. Don't believe that this area is clear. Oh no. There are some nasties and some beasties hanging around in the various rooms. We'll uh, get to them yet today. Let's do some jogging. We'll head back to this uh, main fuse area here and insert our main fuse. And because it changed color, you know it's working. So now we're going to head to the right. 
And now we're gonna see some new enemy types. We haven't seen new enemies in quite a while. So uh, it's an interesting change. First, we're gonna head to the right here. We're gonna head through this door because the uh, door on the left there was locked. You'll notice Leon's gaze goes to the screen. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first, hey, it's a flamethrower. Now that is an item I don't ever really use. The range of the flamethrower is actually very poor. And uh, there aren't a lot of enemies in the game that uh, are worthwhile to actually use it on. And you saw that it's based on a percentage system. So the more you use it, you know, it goes down in percentage. It takes up two item slots. It's really not that great of an item. And it's certainly not that great of a weapon. So I pick it up just for completion's sake, but uh, I'm not really going to use it at all. Now I've heard it's useful for a particular enemy in this area, but the way that enemy attacks, it just doesn't seem to be that helpful. Because you have to be very close to it in order to use it. So this little memo here is just telling us about their kind of emergency plans in case something happens. Not very helpful. Now what is helpful is this user registration. We need to know that our username that we have to use is called guest. So note that for the future. And there's also a little planter over there with blue herbs. <laughs> Hi there. Just in case you get poisoned in the near future. Because we are going to fight some enemies that can actually poison you. So there's oil in this area, which means we can use our lighter to get rid of this, uh, whatever this is, this tentacly planty thing. And surprisingly, we can actually hop up there and slide through this little vent. So we're going to do that, get into this room on the other side. And there are some things waiting for us, and that is a new type of liquor. Uh, oh man. Oh man, I thought it was dead. Oh, possum. Alright, and I'm just going to combine it with my uh, upgraded parts. And uh, there we go. Now we have the more powerful shotgun. Remington M1100 full-size semi-automatic. This thing is super loud when you use it. And I'm sure uh, we will have many opportunities to do that. But uh, there's also a lot more shotgun ammo in here. So we're gonna grab that. And then we're gonna head back to the door. I think there's some ink ribbons as well. We're gonna unlock it, and we're gonna get another new enemy type, once outside, and that is a plant-like creature. Now the plant has a couple of different attack patterns. It will whip you with its vines, it will spit a poison substance at you, and uh, it will also grab you and spit the substance directly into your face. So we need to activate this shutter here, and there are two of them on the other side of this door. Ugh. So I'm just gonna turn and fire directly into the wall. Ow. I'll take, ow, two to three shots from your shotgun to kill them. And you have to be careful because even when they're dead, when you walk by them, their tentacles can still whip you and do a small amount of damage. Like that. I'm actually surprised I didn't take more damage than that and uh, that it didn't poison me either. But if you do get poisoned, of course, head back and use that blue herb planter. There's another one here. They take a really long time to turn around, so it's pretty easy to kill them. And we're gonna grab these green herbs. It's always good to have some healing stuff. And we'll combine them. I should probably use one actually in retrospect. I did get hit a few times. So it's, you know, good to make sure that Leon's in uh, tip top shape. Let's head down the ladder. Another 
massive plant thing. Luckily, we don't ever have to take that on, which I guess is a little bit of a spoiler. But now we're in the bowels of this area. And yes, you can hear them. There are liquors down here. <laughs> They're hanging out around that corner. Come on, buddy. Come and get me. Oh, jeez, come on. Wow. That was so powerful, it pushed me back another camera angle. Oh my god! Uh, alright, well, the other one should know I'm here. God oh, dang it, stop shooting the wall again. Whoa! Huh. Well, that's not it. There is another one as well. So uh, don't let your guard down yet. Right around the corner, there it is. Ow. It's gotta get its little slash. Dang it. Slash in. You'll notice that uh, they're a slightly different color than the other liquors. They're not the uh, reddish maroon color. They're more of a dried out kind of gray color. Oh, and there's another green herb back there. Let's grab all these. Not sure if I should use one or not. I only got slashed twice. Eh. We'll probably just make a full healer. There's a control panel up here. We actually cannot use that yet. We need to find a MO disc or MO disc, kind of like the first game. And that will allow us to open up this door here, which is actually a door that leads to the final area of the game. So of course we have to do some other stuff first. And a lot of that stuff is going to happen in my next episode as we're gonna clean out the laboratories here. We're gonna get the awesome upgradable parts for the Magnum. And we're gonna take on a couple more mini bosses before we uh, start the final run to the end of the game. So let's grab the laboratory map. Check that out real quick. I'll do some item management. And next time we will continue towards the end of this wonderful game. Or at least Leon's scenario. So as always viewers, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you all next time. So long.